Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Your brothers here in Deen Love trying to create some amazing content that will get us near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to Jannah. So that's the idea. If you like that, make sure you subscribe, stay tuned with us, and inshallah we try to bring consistent content. We try. Absolutely. We try. <laughs> Sometimes a lot of things get in the way, but we try. We're back with Deen Love Q&A. Uh, some amazing questions that came in and that uh, we have got on our hands here. Um, we got a beautiful question here. It's a little bit sensitive, but really, really relevant because this, a lot of people really deal with this. And don't forget to send all your questions to Dean Love Q and uh, Dean Love Q and <laughs> Dean Love uh, Today at gmail.com right here. Hopefully you see it. Uh, send your emails there and inshallah ta'ala we'll be able to respond back to you. Uh, so we got a brother here. Uh, he lives with his cousin and who's a, a, a female, and she doesn't cover up, and um, uh, her dad does not, you know, support her in wearing her hijab and so on, in the house especially, and uh, she invites him to do haram things, that which we really, we don't want to get into the detail, because we want you guys to focus on the topic here, um, and he's asking, uh, he, they talked about marriage, uh, but then her, her father refused to let him uh, get married to uh, the girl, and so he's kind of confused on what to do and not to do. Yeah, uh, he doesn't want to fall into haram with this uh, with the sister, which is his cousin, and so he wants to get married, but the father won't let her uh, get married until she finishes her quote unquote studies. Uh, we'll talk about that sometime too. Um, so he's uh, asking the question: Can I marry my cousin in secret? Can I marry my cousin mm. in secret? Stay with me. I know you have a lot of cousins. Have you ever thought about me? your cousin in secret? Uh, <laughs> and know, that's, a, that's just a joke, okay? Take it easy. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is so... There's really, there's really a lot to talk about in this question. Um... One thing though, I, I kind of I want to cap, I want to tackle a couple of things. The first of them being the idea of cousins, and I think that um, in the in, this, in the society that we live in, right in in our social con uh, context right now, um, the Muslims or the young ones, especially the young ones that are born here, they're coming up in this country or in the West, they do not see the cousins as mahrams. Or, or they do not see the cousins as non mahrams. This is what a, is a mahram? Yeah. Can you explain a to us mahram, what a mahram is? A mahram is is one that you cannot marry, and mm. those who you cannot marry are uh, uh, anyone who is not from or any female or opposite uh, 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 gender or, or or sex who is not from Blood. your exact or immediate uh, uh, family, right? Everybody else, including cousins and distant relatives. Those will be mahrams because you can marry them, right? And because there's that possibility there of marriage, then you have to treat them, treat them as a else who is not related to you, uh, uh, just a random a female or a random male, a random uh, brother that's, that's out there. Which means that if you will not be, you know, caught in a place or in a certain circumstance where it's about haram with a, another brother who's not related to you, the same applies to your cousin, right? And I see this a lot, even, um, I don't want to uh, attack any specific community or, or ethnicity, but um, this happens a lot generally uh, across with the Muslims. You know, we hug each other. That's you know, my cousin! Very, very touchy, yes, that's my cousin. <laughs> you know, why would we? Why would we? You know, this is like, that's my cousin. I would, yeah. Man, I and, grew up with him. Ha, is, <laughs> but then our, the Quran says uh, otherwise, and so does the Sunnah of the Prophet. Wasallam. Ali married Fatima. Fatima is his cousin, right? Um, so we need, to, we need to not forget that. Uh, or he married the, the daughter of his cousin. Uh, who was the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam? So we should, we should, you know, that that itself is a clear evidence, and that and Allah subhanahu wa taala speaks about this in in many ayat about those who you can and cannot marry, 
um, and the cousins are definitely those who you can marry. I know today in society, people, this becomes a taboo issue, but you should know that majority of the world uh, is actually made up of, of many parts of the world. I think they said about 20% of the entire world is made up of uh, marriage with cousins, right? So this is, don't let, you know, just, just today's the norms know, society, around us, yeah. yes, and the standards today that just propped up, don't let that overcome your dean right or make anything uh feel weird or sound weird with you yeah so uh the topic of cousins is very sensitive absolutely um like uh Uthman said it's really something that people underestimate that relationship you know most relationships people kind of know the limitations yeah but with cousins people it's kind of a great area for people in which they just double cross they hug they do this they do yeah. that they're alone they yeah. so like the brother was saying the question he's alone with her sometimes and she's not wearing hijab and Absolutely. they're inclined you know what i mean everybody has feelings and temptations yeah um and so instead of falling into haram he wants to marry her in secret mm. the second part is that dad is making it really hard on the brother uh, which is he cannot get married to her because she has to finish quote unquote. You guys remember this one? Her studies. <laughs> <laughs> oh my so, god! Uh, well, what are your thoughts on that? I don't know, man. I just I think that parents, man. Sometimes the the parents, you know, they may have good intentions towards their children, but they do become a huge obstacle for the youth today in in their marriage, right? Um, Sometimes, you know, because of their rejection of a reason like that, you know, oh, she needs to finish or she needs to graduate, she needs to do this, she can't marry until then. This may lead to haram. It's and, and one thing that we always need to remember is that even in the university in which she is going in, she is uh, in classes with other men, right? Other boys. And how long is she in university? Years, four years, sometimes even uh, after grad, you know, uh, post-grad studies, that's even, you know, longer, you know. And how, how, for how many of those years is she interacting with the, with the opposite gender, right? Every day. So Almost every so day. So it becomes even more and more difficult and the, the, the possibility of haram gets, gets bigger and bigger. So... You know this 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 excuse here. Um, although you know our parents may Allah forgive them all and and, and give them jannah. I think that um, it's it's in, in a time like today it's it's misplaced, right? And you know definitely marriage would be the best situation for this sort of circumstance. And Allah Allah Alam. Yeah. So the brother, obviously, um, to get married to the sister would be really the best thing for you, Achi. Uh, second thing is um, the reason why this has gotten to the point it is is because something haram was already happening. Absolutely. So because you were around her yep. and she wasn't properly dressed and uh, uh, that and you seen her being alone with her, all those things are haram in this beautiful ayah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you're afraid of falling to zina. So look at listen to this ayah, right? Which is Wala taqrabu zina. Don't Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he was talking about zina and fornication and so on and so on, he said, Don't get near zina. Right? Yeah. In another ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling the believing men and the believing women in the following ayah, telling us to lower our gaze in the presence Absolutely. of non-mahram women or men. And so this is all in uh, uh, in design towards preventing something greater of harm that could occur. Absolutely. And so because this prevention didn't happen, now you're inclined and you're having temptations and desires for uh, your cousin and you know, anything haram really never leads to anything khayr. And then now you have another obstacle of dad which is in the way, which is really, really unfortunate. Very, and very, 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 unfortunate. very, very sad. Yeah. Uh, but we advise you, Akhi, uh, to do uh, what is best for you. And Don't also, let, yeah. also, the, 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 the secret marriage thing, this is also off the table. Yeah. We, don't, we, don't, we, don't, we don't have this concept in our deen of secret marriage. All of the marriages and, 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 and the kah are, are, are publicized in our, in our deen. So there is no such thing as a secret marriage. Um, and even the Prophet والسلام, in, in a hadith in Bukhari and, and also a Muslim, he does say that, you know, uh, uh, the, the, there is no... You know, um, there is no marriage without the wali, and 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 even the 
publication, right? The publicizing of, of this marriage and this union is also one thing that is agreed upon by the, by the madahibs. Yeah. And, Allah, Allah, Allah. and plus, it wouldn't be good for you, man, because yeah. if you did marry her just for the time being, and let's say the temptations and the desires go away, then what? You know what I mean? That's going to be waiting for you. <laughs> you know what Absolutely. I mean? And Absolutely. you know what I mean? Marriage, in reality, you're marrying the whole family as a package. <laughs> so uh, where are you going to yeah. go, man? Are you going to hide always? Is it always going to be a secret? No. So the best thing for you to do is get out of this situation. Right? If you moved in with them or she moved, find yourself in a different environment or, or try to persuade the dad possibly to letting this happen. Uh, try to encourage other family members to come tackle the issue Absolutely. sometimes and he'll maybe fall under pressure. Yeah. But marriage in secret in the long run is not a good idea, yeah. man. It's not, it's not a healthy thing to do uh, at all. Uh, and I know a lot of brothers, man, or, and a lot of sisters who really gave up um, uh, even a good marriage you know, proposal because their parents were not... Uh, we're not satisfied with that. Absolutely. And, and if you can, if the brother can move out, this will also, and it, because if anything else, if all this doesn't work and uh, the, the other option for him or the, the one thing that he should be doing is moving out or she should move out because um, they shouldn't even be living in the same household yep. to begin with. You know, a lot of bad things can happen. Um, so, subhanAllah. Yeah, best treatment, prevention. Yep. So this could all really be prevented, but now that it has happened, do what you can to, to relocate, get away from that environment. And inshallah ta'ala, things I think over, over time, it will die out. Absolutely. And you'll come back to your senses. And hopefully inshallah, you find a good sister. Mm, and inshallah. she finds a good brother. And, it's, and if you guys can get married, alhamdulillah, right? Let us know. Invite us to the wedding. <laughs> I want to come. I want to come. There. <laughs> we want to come. You know what I mean? Uh, so inshallah ta'ala, Hey, give us uh, your comments and tell us your feedback on the Dean Love Q&A. Submit your questions at deanlovetoday at gmail.com and we will see you and we will talk soon, inshallah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Bi islami wa imani ahda al-kawn wa zamanu Bi islami wa imani ahda al-kawn wa zamanu